Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Boy Station. We're in the middle of a really big haul. What the fuck? What? No, they're, uh... Just... I, I don't know what to do. Hmm. Um... I don't know either. It's a really big room. Yeah. That makes me nervous here. Yeah. Of course, it's a really dark room, so we could use our lighter to oh, try to reveal God. something. Oh, that's pretty. I like how the floor is reflecting our light. Yeah, I don't know where to go. This is freaking me out. Wow, you leave footprints. Right. What do I do? I don't know, man. This bitch is gonna show up and freak me the hell out. Possibly. I noticed that the screen would get dark when she appears. Well, it's getting dark now. Oh, I think so that's that just a help. smart TV being done. Fuck! Well, what happened? No, I fell. Oh. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What the shit? Um... Like, I think I'm supposed to jump onto that. But I keep falling. What the actual shit? Oh, wait, maybe I jump at that? No. Fuck. Fucking noise in this room is freaky, too. There's no spotlight around here or something? Spotlight? Or just like a really well lit area? Um. I mean, right here? Okay, this so that's the brightest part of this. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Um. What the fuck do I do? I don't know. I. Wait, check the foreground? I mean, towards us, I guess. Yeah. So I'm wondering if we're missing anything. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, God damn it. I'm a fucking idiot. Nah, it's okay. We all have those moments. What? what the f hey. Um. Push? Push. Oh, pull. No, pull. Yeah, pull. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now what? I don't know. This? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it's a mirror. Uh, Is that a mirror? Yeah. Okay. So we need to use that for something, I reckon. Probably. Well, clearly this the is a boss show. fight, yeah. Oh, wait, can she not... Yeah, I noticed that everything she looks at is a broken mirror. Yeah. Oh, oh damn oh, God. it. Okay, so that's a little jump scary, but not too bad. Okay, so she doesn't disintegrate you, she just lifts you. Yeah, she just grabs you and, like, force holds you in a way. Now, I know this game is rated T for teen, but I would kind of <clears> like more implication of something gruesome happening to her. Mm-hmm. When she gets caught. Alright, so obviously this is the boss battle, in a way. I think so. This might be the finale, folks. Yep. So I guess what we have to do is make her look at it. Maybe. Something. There's a spotlight that appeared when she yeah. disappears, so I say go to that. Yeah. Or go to a spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay here. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Six, get up. Okay. Just stay there. Yeah. Clearly, she does not. Yeah. Yeah, she does not like that, clearly. Obviously. Whatever this geisha is, whether Demon. if it's an oni or a ghost, she don't like her reflection. Yeah. Alright, come out, you bitch. Oh. She's gone wise. Wise-ish. Jeez. Alright. We can do this all day, buddy. You got this. <coughs> oh, I thought you were gonna sneeze for a second. Who are you? Oh, 
over there. She's doing her circling thing. She's like a fucking shark. Type. There she is! Oh, oh Damn dang. It. She All got right. too close. Well, this is interesting. I like this. This is kind of cool. This is. <coughs> That's actually really smart. Making a boss fight with the limited controls we have as a small kid thing. <laughs> kid thing. Well, I mean, come on. We ate a gnome. Who knows what we are? Or something. You know what I'm getting at? You starting like, to have doubts about six? Well, I always thought there was something off concerning whenever she eats the lights flicker. Yeah. That whole thing. But like, nothing concrete. Something's definitely going on in Six's yeah. mind. Something's definitely going on in this game. But I like this. This is uh this is say, a cool way to do a boss fight. One could yeah. One critique I kinda do have about this geisha. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they could have made her disappear animation a little bit more correct. Mm. Because when she disappears, I see her silhouette in the darkness, but then she just kind of pops out of existence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just noticed that when she did it. I feel like they could have done that a little bit better, but then again, we could do the supernatural show disappearing idea where it's just, pop. Oh, that's mm -hmm. all they do. All right, show yourself. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't know if it's random, so I'm just gonna... Uh, uh, Morty. Nope, not Lose random. your focus. There no, you I'm go. not. Question is, how many hits can she take? Well, that's a third, so. Yeah, that's a third. And this might be the final one, considering where the spot <coughs> is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do your shark circling thing, lady. Go ahead. Yeah, it's the same spot. Okay, I thought that was it. No, come on, six, get up. Alright, fifth time's the oh. charm. Same spot. Shit. Well, fuck me. God damn it. So close, dude. Whew. Hmm. I think when it does that weird sound, I think it's like her trying to absorb her soul or something. I have no idea. Screen fades to black, so we don't quite see exactly what happens to six. Yeah. Precisely. Like I said, folks, I think this is the final. No, this def yeah, this is definitely. Which well, is strange, because I thought we would have killed the chefs before we go after the geisha. Well, because clearly she's in control of everything. Yeah, well, I mean, take her out. Maybe it takes out everything. Maybe I don't know. Chain reaction. Yeah, chain reaction. Precisely, my thinking. Come on, six, you can do it. So that's one was over here. Where'd she come from? The left? The top left? Top left, I think. Or top right. Top yeah. right. So yeah, it's not random, folks. It looks like there's actually it, like a set pattern. Yeah. So help me out with remembering that, because I'm kind of... I'll try my best. So, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Do what you can. I don't quite remember which way she comes I from I think here. she comes from there. Yeah, bottom left. Yeah. I'm in the center, right? Yeah, like, you're on the side. The fucking... I was kind of losing, like, the... Yep. Man. And then we move down a little bit. Yeah, yeah it was... Yeah, now it's this. Which I believe the first one is the bottom right. She does, like, the circle, like, two, three times. Oh, yeah. It's like, one there. Two. Three. <coughs> There it is. Okay. And that's one was this way? Uh, it was definitely on the left, but I don't know if it was top or bottom. Okay. All I know she did, like, almost instantly. Oh, yeah, like that. God damn, I mean, it's this bitch take. And I know, I'm insulting her, and I don't know anything about her. Oh. Well, the mirror broke. Yeah, it did. I hope we're okay. I hear panting, but I don't know if that's us. That's her. Oh. Investigate? We're hungry. Oh. We are, huh? Yep. 
So this game is doing this now, apparently. So we're gonna be eating a ghost, are we? Something is gonna happen. I don't know what. Oh. Okay. There we. Yeah, we just went here. Apparently, we made her real enough to not be ghost anymore. Something happened there. Better neck. Yeah. Oh. oh. We're getting the abilities, are we? It looks like it. I mean, the darkness is flowing. Oh shit, it's like the beginning. Is she preparing us? Is this all a test? What the hell? I don't know. Eh. Uh. <laughs> Jared. Oh, I hear water. Oh. Uh, there she is. And I, I can't move. You can't move. It's a cutscene. I didn't know. We're here, I guess. We're somewhere. Where? Oh, we can move. Oh, it's her theme. So it seems. Oh. Looks like we have powers now. Because we ate the geisha's yeah. neck. Well, oh, it's the fat people. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh. Uh oh. Oh. We took their soul. Or their oh, dark essence. Shit. She has the fucking thing the geisha could do now. Oh. Is it wrong that I kind of like this considering all the trouble we had to go deal with? Are we going to kill the chefs? That's what I want to know, because fuck those guys. Yeah, I hope so. They they were assholes. Like, not going to lie. kind of fucking hate them. Well, I think things uh, might not be quite what we thought. Just keep moving forward. Yeah. Just sick of these guys. Because clearly they're not a threat to us anymore. Yeah. Well, she's just absorbing them anyway. Like, I didn't actually need to go up oh. to them individually. Yeah, we seem to be sucking out their demonic essence. I'm gonna assume that's what that is. It's something. Because in most lore, souls are usually a bind <clears throat> of white light. Yeah. Not black soot. That's true. <laughs> Twitch. And what I want to know is, what about that kid who helped us the first time? Yeah. Or person? Yeah. Oh, it's turning. What is it? I think it's Oh shit, okay. uh, into the light! Well, the light doesn't hurt her, apparently. Well, technically the light didn't hurt the geisha as well. We were oh, in a yeah. lit room. It was the mirror reflection thing. Well, that took a interesting turn. The ladies' quarters. That is the trophy we have achieved. Yep. Wow. Out to the surface world we go. But do we have every right to return? What exactly did we unleash into this world? Are we in good shape? Or are there things to fear? There's a gnome. What do you have to think about that gnome? I'm just holding... Uh oh, there we go. The shadow's going away. Well then. Well, that was interesting. And that's the game. Wow. Congratulations, Jared. You beat this game. Yeah. How do you feel? Oh, uh, good. Good? Yeah. Like, we had no idea what... We've never played this before. We've never seen anything of it. No, we have not. When you asked me about this, I'd heard about it. Didn't know anything about it. Wow, there were only two 3D artists. That's cool. They did well, well to one. those two 3D artists, they did a fantastic job. Yeah, pretty good. Everything looked really good in this. Every asset, every character looked great. But um yeah, so I didn't know anything about it. So this was like one of the few blind playthroughs we've done. If not the first, but like Yeah, one character pro programmer. A player character. Like, dang. By the way, this text really reminds me of Tim Burton. 
Yeah, I agree. God, if Tim Burton ever made like a video game movie, mm -hmm. that boy, something based off that. Hey, voice acting! Oh, yeah. Tobias. <laughs> of course, they had a guy named Tobias mm -hmm. making a voice. But yeah, no, it's, uh, oh, I thought that's a Disney CEO. <laughs> I was like, Disney? What? Anyway, so if I see Tim Burton, I could see Tim Burton trying to make this into a movie. Mm-hmm. It's just this cheap, trippy-ass shit where it's like, we follow a little girl going through this mall, and then what if she really is not the monster that we fear? Well, I don't know exactly what kind of ending that was. Yeah. I had- I was thinking before we play- cause we did this in two sit-downs. We got to like, <coughs> right before we had to deal with the chefs was one, mm -hmm. and then chefs, the fat people, and this was all tonight. Yeah. And before, after, when we got the halfway point that we were at, <coughs> during the week I was thinking about this, mm -hmm. and I was like, uh, oh, thinking about me. it, and it was like everything we'd faced thus far from the janitor to the fact that we were going up against the chefs because we looked and saw that there's the chefs that were next in the thing I was saying to myself if they're supposed to be the monsters in this game and I didn't even think the geisha was evil, I didn't, you know, because at the beginning it's like, oh, it's a geisha is she, what is she you know, kind of thing but then like, I began to think about Six, and the fact is, like, whenever she eats anything, the lights would flicker and it would be weird. So I began to, like, think to myself, if the, like, humanish things in there are monsters, what is a monster to a demon? Right. Because I thought about it, I was like, the lights flicker. Flickering shit is usually, like, associated <clears throat> with, like, ghosts or malignant spirits or demons. And I, w I didn't think that we were the evil. I just didn't think we were normal, you know what I mean? Sure, I mean, we thought we were, we think we were a normal child, but... But then we're like super, we're like, assumedly six inches tall, hence the name Six, maybe. We don't even know if that's why. No, oh, we're definitely more than six inches tall. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But, just... Wow, I am impressed and blown away. I really like this game. This was really good for a blind playthrough. Oh, yeah. Like I said before in the very first episode, I just randomly saw videos and shit like that and then thought to myself, Yeah, this might be a fun game to spontaneously play, considering none of us really know what's going on. Yeah. There's, um... Y'all bring it up here. Why not? We got credits to wait through. Yeah, little. yeah. Um, there's another game that's coming out soon that I'm really interested in. And I asked Mark about it because I want to get his opinion. But I was going to ask you a little bit as well. It's called Bendy and the Ink Machine. Have you heard of that? No. Basically, it's a, um, it is another horror, horror game. But unlike... Five Nights, it's not like in-your-face jump scares, it's more like this where there's like subtleness and tension and what have you. But it's being produced right now by a company called The Meatly. And the idea is that it's like a, uh, in this universe, like a Walt Disney kind of company, they make cartoons and whatever. Uh -huh. But like... That was like 30 years ago, and you get a letter from someone that asks you to go back, so you go back there. And it's very uh, stylized and whatnot, and I'll show you some more later, but that was something I thought that we could do. Nice. I thought it'd be fun. Sounds great, dude. I didn't hear a word of that until like the last few sentences. I'm sorry, I was checking something about this game. Oh, okay. What Did you find anything interesting? There's a post-credit scene. Oh, cool. Because everything has to have post-credit <laughs> scenes these days. Right. Heck, even Horizon Zero Dawn had a post credit scene. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Which is pretty fine. You mentioned that. Although, considering how long these uh, credits are for such a very short game that's by indies, mostly just sales and marketing, I wonder if we should skip ahead a little. Can we, without messing it up? I don't know. I mean, I'll try. I mean, we could make fun of these games. Oh, not games. Make fun of these names. I actually can't skip it. Polly Suitcliffe. 
Well, that's a crazy name. Oh, there we go. This oh, must here be we go. the end by now. Uh, font, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Ooh, co-funded by the European? Oh, it's a European game. Of fucking course it is. Mm. Little Nightmares. Woo! We hope you enjoyed this little journey of this... Of... Oh, <laughs> I love we that little wishy wish. Oh, All right. we got Let's the save what point. This is gonna be. Do we get a post credit scene? Yes, we do. Oh, she's at the. Hmm. Okay, I can't do it. It's a lighthouse. Yeah. Thank you for playing. I guess we should just wait here until someone rescues us. Hmm. Oh. Congratulations, right, Jared. It. You did it. You beat is the game. Is that really it? Hmm. Tune in oh. next time, folks, when we have something else to play. What should we play? We don't know. Leave a comment in the comments in the comments about other games we could play. Or please give us a like, share this video, subscribe, because that helps us all in the long run. Well, thank you so much for playing this game for me, Jared. Mm -hmm. I will never play it again. Mm. Uh, is this scary. really it? Yes, this is it! Damn it, Jared, stop being so selfish. Okay. Bye, everyone! See ya!